We're playing hoops and giving hope for a healthier future. One Ottawa High School basketball team is scoring points not only for its play, but for a pledge. Players have promised to butt out on game days. Carleton University's Mac Christie has the story. As the old adage goes, practice makes perfect. The Sir Guy Carlton Knights basketball team prepares to face their next opponent, a pledge. Our whole team decided we signed a paper. Uh, we all decided not to smoke on game days and uh, before games. But on our team, no one smokes, so it's okay. So we're just trying to help people out of the school too, in the school. It's part of a program called Expose, which promotes smoke-free, healthy living among youth. I think it's a great way for the leaders of our school to kind of uh, pass down the information about non-smoking and the importance of non-smoking. Um, as athletes, uh, they're, they're kind of seen as leaders at our school, which is really important. It's Sir Guy's only sports team, and with only seven players, they need all the lung capacity they can get. Dr. Isra Levy presented the team with a certificate, recognizing their commitment to living smoke-free. He says the players are ambassadors for their school leaders uh, within the school and we really we know that the peer influence is such an important and strong component of the, the, the message of healthy living uh, that it's a delight that, uh, that these people are, are helping us and helping themselves uh, convey that message. This is a young team in its first season. In fact, the school netted a basketball team with help from the Expose program. And the team is scoring success with its first ever appearance in the National Capital Secondary School Athletic Association. Right now, Sir Guy Carleton is the only school in the league that uses the expose program. In the future, Dr. Levy hopes that other schools will pick it up. Right now, at least, it seems it's a slam dunk at Sir Guy Carleton. Matt Christie, CTV News. Well, researchers have spent years trying to develop ways to die.